zero carbon airport really is a starting point. It's an ambition. How to get there is, is really unclear. And so I think it's helpful to bring a lot of different stakeholders together just to get different perspectives, not only on how that could be achieved, but really to have a better sense of who would really be a part of developing the solutions that can get airports to a, a zero carbon future. The Port Authority is redesigning their three major airports. So how do we influence that as designers today in how that is uh, being accomplished? Not only on the design side, but from technology that affects that design, policy that affects that design, whether that is an investment or just the codes and standards that we use for the design of airports. How are we all affecting that to really make an impact on the infrastructure design of airports? Airport-wide electrification. We see the first wave with electric cars and buses now, but the second wave, which I think is going to be an even bigger load uh, growth in the near future, is Class 8 and heavy-duty vehicles coming to and from the airport. Third wave I see in the very near future is what they call urban air mobility or uh, advanced air mobility. Uh, these are around the VTOLs, the electric helicopters, much like Uber Elevate, and then siting you know, energy storage at the airports. Could they become an energy hub for the surrounding area to increase the overall profile, but the surrounding airports coming to and from the airport, and also a, a, in case of a, a natural disaster, could they be a, a facility for, for greater uh, long-term uh, collaboration um, and usage to help and assist in those natural disasters. On the mitigation side, specific to our airports, we have over the course of the last year done some serious stakeholder engagement with our airline and terminal operator partners about putting them on a trajectory to convert all of the conventional ground support equipment at the airport to electric. And just to give you a sense of, of context on that, after aircraft and attracted travel, that's kind of your Uber and Lyft and you're on, dropping you off at the airport, uh, ground support equipment is the third greatest source of emissions at the airports and we will be the first airport system in the U.S. to do this through policy, not kind of ad hoc when we have grants available. We have across our three major airports more than 7,000 pieces of GSE and so again this, this is, uh, you know, it, it will be very impactful when we um, move those mostly to electric.